right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Pack Crackers. Today we have another degree submission receiving. So this time, unlike last video, I sent off a huge stack. I think I sent 26 or 28 cards in. Um, degree had a wonderful Black Friday deal where you got 20% off of all of your submissions. Um, just like the last video, we're going to run through them all, take a look at the grades, see what we got. Last video, we hit two perfect 11s. So here's hoping we got some more. So let's go ahead and get in here. First of all, we'll get all of our top load, all of our shipping supplies back. I love that they send those back to people because I'm the idiot who never, oh, put those upside down so we can't see what they are. I love that they give those back and send those back to you because I don't I'm one of those people I throw mine away or I lose them all the time. All right. Uh, we'll go ahead and start with the small stack first and see what we got. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and flip the stack and then we'll take a look at each of them. So, and I do not remember what order these are in, so this is going to be a surprise for everybody. All right, so first off, we got an eight on the Ahsoka Todd Purnell sketch. This one, I had some rough time with it before I got it sent in for grading, so I'm very shocked it still got an eight. It looks like surface and corner and edges is what dinged us here, but still very happy. I was really hoping that would at least stay above a six. Next up, we have the Professor Teclo Vesson from the round the table for flesh and blood. Um, anyone who hasn't tried flesh and blood, I absolutely 100% recommend the game. It is probably one of the most original card games I have seen in many years. And in all honesty, the round the table set is the flawless start off point. If you want something for multiple people to learn how to play, this is, per this is the perfect way to do it. Um, so we got an eight on this one, which isn't bad. I was hoping for a better grade. It looks like corner and edges and centering hit us on this one. Yeah, I can see the centering problem. Still an eight, not bad. All right, so cool. We're moving up in the we're moving up in the world. So for his signature weapon, which is the Teclo Blaster, the coal foil from the round the table, we got a gem mint ten. So we got all greens on these. I also love the fact that degrees slabs give you the little mini grading explanation on there um, very handy to have all right hopefully next up is the rest of the teclo base so these were the promos you got for buying like a case of bright lights uh when the set came out so for the teclo base head cold foil promo it looks like we got an eight on it looks like cornering and edges and centering is what dinged us here yeah, the centering is bad on this one. Unfortunately, when it's promos you get from your local store, you don't have much say in what the condition is or the ones that you get. But what can you do? So next up is we got the Teclo base arms. Now we got a nine on this one. So this one, only corners and edges hit us here. Okay. So probably hard to see on camera, but the corners in both of the bottom right, bottom right and left corners... I can see a little bit of dings and chafing there, so that's probably what hit us here. All right, so next up we have the chest, and all right, we got hit all the way down to a seven on this one. Um, it's definitely lower than I was hoping for. Ooh, this one got hit for all three, for surface, cornering and edges, and centering. I think surface, it might be, there might be some surface scratches to it, and that might be what dinged us. It looks like the centering isn't very solid on this one either, and I see a little bit of chafing in the corners. So, not the best grade, but it is what it is. So next up, we have another seven for the legs. Um, this one, same thing, got dinged for all three sections. Um, would have been nice to have an entire set that was all matching grades, but we'll take what we can get. A lot of people think when they think of a new grading company, because a lot of them have hit the scene in the last probably five to 10 years, is, oh, you know, they're going to pass out a lot of easy grades because people love seeing the high numbers and they don't really grade their stuff. It's just, you know, 
a rip-off company, they're never going to last. So honestly, I'm happy to see such a wide stretch of grades. Anyone who watched the last video we did for Degree, we hit amazing. We hit two 11s, we hit multiple 10s. I think the lowest we got was a 9, and I was absolutely amazed by that. But seeing this wider spread of grades tells me that they are genuinely checking these. I can see when I look at the card why it got dinged. Um, they're definitely a company I've put a lot of faith into very early on. Um, I like their setup. Their slabs are very nice looking. They're clean cut. Like I said, the little breakdown here on the back that kind of shows you what hits your card. I feel like it's something I don't think any, I know Beckett does like the point system, but I feel like the graph is a little bit easier to digest. So next up, we did get a Gem Mint 10 on the Melody Sing-Along from the Round the Table. So she hit green in all three categories. So very nice end to the first stack. Let's go ahead and hop into the second one here. Yeah. Now this grading, this grading submission was full of a bunch of different stuff. And I'll be honest, I don't remember what all of it was. Next up, we have Jingle Woods, Smash Hit. So Melody's signature weapon from around the table. This one got a nine. Another thing that I love about Flesh and Blood is the cold foiling. Let's see if I can get it good in the light. There it is. I don't know what it is about like cold foil and magic. It's closer to etched foil. Uh, if you play Lorcana, it's their foiling system in that. But it just looks absolutely gorgeous. Like the way that that foiling hits is just something different. So this one looks like centering is what dinged us here. Yeah, I can see the centering issue. Ooh, all right. So heroes we're doing pretty good on. So we got a 10 on Bravant, Civic Protector, the Guardian from the Round the Table. So he hit green in all three categories. So at least the heroes we're doing good on. And so far, weapons we're not doing bad with. All right. So his weapon we got an 8 on for Hammer of... I'm going to call it Havenhold. So this one... Corners and edges and centering is what hit us here. Okay, now I'm remembering what some of these submissions were. All right, so I think the next couple cards, if this is back in the same order as I shipped it out, and it's going to be funny because they're all the same card, but I wanted at minimum a grade 10 for this card, so I knew I was going to have some extras, but I didn't want to submit multiple times. So Battle Spirits, uh, what was it? I believe with the last set did a uh, promotion with Game Grumps. Um, they got a three card promo pack from certain stores and this was what I would call like the fun card. It's not playable. It has an 85 cost, um, you know, abilities are when it's summoned, you strike a pose at level two, you destroy a planet in the process and at level three, this sounds like some stuff from Yu-Gi-Oh! You win. Friendship is victory. I feel like someone's going to build a meme deck to try and get to 85 cores. I would try and do it. So we did get, I did get my, my 10 gem mint. So very nice on that. Okay. So we have two gem mint. Ten. Three. All right. Let's, let's think the next one's another one. Oh, so a play set of gem mint 10 arena and Daniela game. Giaris. Maybe slight of a waste of money, but oh well, I got what I was looking for and even some spares to boot. So next up, we have the Jewel Dragon. I'm going to call him Smog. I don't care what Battle Spirits named it. It looks like Smog from Lord of the Rings. So this one was from the uh, first expansion set that they came out with. Got a Gem Mint 10 on that. Once again, like the foiling for Battle Spirits. It's still what I would consider rainbow foil, but it has that sheen. All right, so we got a nine on the Ant-Man token from the third Battle Spirit set. So these were box toppers. There were three different tokens. There was this one, a Mecha token, and I believe a Golem token. So this one got corners and edges got dinged on this one. Being a box topper, I'm not surprised. Depending on how long it was in shipping, those can kind of get banged around a lot. Uh, next up, we got a 10 on the Big Bang Energy from the release celebration. So I'm happy about that because the winner promos that I have, the ones we got in the last degree submission, 
we got a gem mint 10 on one and a perfect 11 on the other. So the set now are all at least gem mint 10s. All right, last stack. Let's see what's in this one. All right, so this is the what Battle Spirits referred to as the lore set. This should be the last, I think this should be the last 10 cards, but we'll see. So we got a nine on the first one on the six, I guess, Emperor Kai. Such a beautiful card. I love the art for it. Plus the bordering that they did with this set, kind of like the, feels kind of like Egyptian, like ru ruins and stuff like that. So this one, the surface got hit. Not noticing anything right away, but it's possible there's some scratch. It looks like yeah, there may be some scratches on the surface. I think I see it now. All right, so cool. We got a gem mint ten on the heroic worm lord dragon. Um, once again, they all have a very similar bordering to them. Like I said, that kind of cool like ruin setup. So that one got green across the board. Oh, another ten on the imperator Manaka. Absolutely gorgeous card. Very nice. Oh, and here I was hoping we were going to get... I was hoping everything else would at least be a 10. But we got a 9 on the Light Igus General... I'm going to call it Phalanus. It's a weird name. There's Battle Spirits has a lot of very unique names if you've never touched the game. So this one... Surface again. I'm wondering what... These all came from the same package, so I wonder if there was some kind of defect with the surfacing that caused the issue. Hmm. Next up, you okay, cool. We got a 10 on the Ice Igus General AL Belto 7. See what I mean about the weird names? So this one got a gem mint 10, so he's sitting solid. Alright, we're back to a 9 with the Wind Igus General Tokiwa. I said once again. Very gorgeous. Love the artwork, especially for the birds. And uh, the second set had a heavy presence on birds, and I love the artwork for them. Surf it's got to be something with this one. The surface, again, is what dinged us here. All right, cool. We got another Gem Mint 10 on the Revolutionary Zeon. Samurai running around with a pistol. All right, a Gem Mint 10 on the Victory Oath, one of the Nexuses from the setup. Very cool there. I love that. Ooh, cool. We're ending on a high note. Another 10 on the Imperator's Great War, the other Nexus from the setup. Beautiful and cool. We get to end on a 10. So a 10 for God Slaying. God, that art looks cool. Samurai attacking this big mecha beast looking thing. All right, very cool. So, guys, that was a what did we get to? 20, I think we got to like 28 cards here. So, that was another degree submission. Um, like I said, they're a company, they're still very new. Uh, they're popping up all over social media. Um, that's how I found out about them in the first place, but I gave them a shot. Um, I've loved what their slabs have done for me so far. I like the look of them. They're solid. Um, definitely suggest if you haven't given them a try or if you're sick of, I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of PSA. I like Beckett. I like the fact that they grade hard. Um, but even Beckett, I've ran into a lot of inconsistencies with. CGC, I've never really seen any problems with. Um but like I said, PSA, what a lot of people consider like the pinnacle of the grading stuff, I've just seen so many so many inconsistencies with. And at least so far, this is close to 40 cards we've gotten back from Degree. I haven't seen one come back that I can't either understand why it got the grade it did or if it got a low grade, what caused it. Like we looked at today, there were a couple of low grades in here, but I see why. Uh, so I do feel like they're a grading company that is taking their products seriously, which is what we need in this. Plus, they're by far one of the best as far as price goes, um, which is obviously a big thing, especially if you're going to be submitting large numbers. You know, when you're sending in 50, 60 cards at a time, even a couple dollars a piece turns into a huge amount. 
Uh, so like I said, check them out if you haven't yet. If you do check them out, let them know where you found out about them from. Um, we'd love to get some kind of collaboration going with them. Like I said, they're a great company. I've had multiple interactions with their customer service too. Uh, but like I said, check them out. Uh, that's it for this video. Keep an eye out for the next one. And thanks for joining us on Pack Crackers.